sometimes when people are looking for cancer clinical trials, mm -hmm. they, they're kind of on the fence and they want to know, is this the right option for me and or should I be doing something else? And one of the things that we help with and what we say to people is that you should understand first all the options that are out there for you. There's a lot of um, you know pros to join a clinical trial and clinical trials are first and foremost to me a way to really feel in control of your own treatment and care as a patient because you're looking at the options, having a discussion with your doctors and then going out there and deciding whether or not to join. And that can be really empowering, you know, as you take charge of your care. But also, in, these treatments are kind of the cutting edge. Anything that's in a clinical trial is new or has been thought of to possibly be better for a certain group of patients than what might be out there or is giving an old treatment in a new way that they think may be better. So by participating in a clinical trial, you really have access to kind of what is the top notch, you know, kind of cutting edge of how cancer treatment is going. And also while you're in a clinical trial, you're really receiving uh, high quality of care because these doctors are both, you know, invested in you as a patient and in making sure that the research, you know, is able to answer the questions that they have. And so you may get, you know, more higher level of care or more touch points with the treatment team, which may again, you know, just kind of help you to feel more in charge of your care and that you're getting the best care out there. I always say to people, having a conversation about new treatment options or clinical trials that you found and are interested in is not second guessing your doctor. It's just you're being an active partner in your care and really you're being part of your own treatment team by helping you know, sort through the hundreds of different options that are out there and you know, helping have that conversation. So you're being an asset to the team. I think once you have all the information, it's really a matter of what is right for you. What is right for you is kind of twofold. One is, you know, the medical treatment side of it. What do the doctors think would be the best treatment for the type of cancer you have and the stage of treatment you're at right now? But also, what's the right treatment for you based on your values? You know.